What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Here is some exciting news for all those Galaxy S22 series users out there. Samsung has finally started pushing out the stable version of One UI 6.0 based on Android 14. Now this is the Galaxy S22 Ultra I have got and I have just received an all new update uh, which is about 446.65 MB and in the changelog it says we are very grateful to all of you for your positive and active participation in One UI beta program. After completion of beta program we are not going to release any new beta software version. We are no longer going to provide any official reply to your opinion beta feedback usage will be stopped now this means this is the final release the final update for the one ui 6.0 beta and if you are currently running on the stable version of one ui 5.1 then you'll be getting a huge update probably more than 2.5 or 3 gb and if you have installed the beta you will see an update size of around 400 mb as you can see the version number ends with dwk4 and the security patch is for november 2023 now let's quickly take a look at all the new features we have got on one ui 6.0 for the s22 series first thing to note is the all new font that we have got now the default font has been changed and this font looks much more elegant than the previous font we had on one ui 5.1.1 the quick panel layout has been completely redesigned which provides easier access to some of the toggles which are important for us we have got dedicated wi-fi and bluetooth toggle right on top then we have got this panel with all the other toggles we can swipe right to see more toggles then all the visual features like the dark mode icon for shield and bright bar have been moved to the bottom then we have smart view and a device control in a big buttons at the extreme bottom of this page now it definitely looks more streamlined and much more accessible than before now we can instantly access the full quick panel usually we swipe down once to see the quick panel and do a second swipe for the notifications to show up but if you just want to swipe once to see the expanded quick panel we can set that up now just go to the quick panel settings we have this option here called quick settings instant access just enable this toggle you will be able to swipe down from the top right to expand the entire panel then we have got this improved album art display while playing music or videos album art will cover the entire media controller in the notification panel on the notification panel each notification will now appear as a separate card which is a little more streamlined i would say you can also notice that the notification icons also look the same as the app icons which makes it easier to recognize which app you are getting the notification from now coming to multitasking feature we can keep the pop-up windows open now on one ui 6.0 instead of minimizing pop-up windows when you go to the recent screen pop-ups will remain open even after you leave the recent screen that is just perfect the emojis on the phone have been redesigned now wherever you see the emojis whether it is in a social media application or messages you will see refreshed emojis there we have got a brand new weather widget now this is called weather insights widgets which provides more information about your local weather conditions overall the weather application also has been improved now coming to the cameras now we've got brand new camera widgets which can be customized to directly open a particular video mode or photo mode right from your home screen we can just set a widget to start in a specific shooting mode the camera application UI has been redesigned. Now we get quick access to resolution settings. It's very easy to choose the resolution right from here on the top. We've got easier video size options now. We get more alignment options for watermarks as well. Now on the gallery application, we can see many more changes. We can now clip the subject from the image background and save it as stickers, or we can just press and hold on the image to clip the subject from the background and uh, use the other finger to go to any other application and drop that cropped image to send it or to save it. And we got a brand new photo editor the editing layout has been changed and the tools are much more accessible now as you can see and we get a brand new video editing feature now called studio which is an advanced video editing feature now available on samsung which is just fantastic we can now save the edited projects in this application and continue editing whenever we want we can add multiple layers on the timeline like we can add text sound videos transition effects etc and they are much easier to edit now on this application then the smart select feature has been improved we can now resize and extract text from pinned content when you pin an image to the screen you can now resize it or extract text from it under modes and routines we get a new condition we can now start a routine when an application is playing media and we get a new action associated with samsung keyboard settings i will discuss this in detail in the upcoming video so stay tuned the next improvement is in a smart suggestions widget the smart suggestions widget has been redesigned and it can accommodate more icons now and we can customize this widget we can adjust the transparency we can also set applications to exclude from suggestion now coming to my files we have got an integrated trash with gallery 
My Files and Gallery Trash features have been combined into one. When you open the trash in My Files, you will be able to see the files, pictures, and videos you have deleted all together. In the Files application also, we can copy a particular file from one folder and use the other finger to go back to another folder and drop it there to paste it. These are some fantastic features we have got and I'm sure you're going to love them. Do let me know what you think about this iteration of One UI. Drop a comment and also let me know whether you received the update or not. Mention the model that you're using and also mention the country you are commenting from. That would benefit the community to know whether that region or that particular country has received the update or not. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.